What is going on everybody? Today, I'm gonna to be going over how you can get those rare outbreaks in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet because, hey, everybody wants a rare outbreak for those special Pokemon that you typically can't find anywhere else. So let's jump into it. So to start off, there is a huge list of outbreak Pokemon and you typically don't really see them going through the game normally. Now you can do outbreak type spawns with your encounter power sandwiches, but this is gonna help you dial in on exactly what you wanna get in an outbreak so you can actually get it more easily. Now on Cerebi, they do have a massive list of the outbreaks. I'm gonna leave that link in the description, but if you see, we have massive lists. We go from Electro, Chanseys, we, every, we got Eevees, <laughs> like they're massive. These are huge lists and it just goes and goes and goes. Some top ones you can see are like Luxrays. You got Hippowdon. You got a Lucario you could go hunt. You got pretty much anything you want. You got Zorark. Zorark would be a good, hard one to find. Gothitel. That's a final evolution that doesn't really spawn that often. Like this list is massive and it just goes on. Like you, I'm still scrolling and that just shows you that the outbreaks are not small. Like it's not a small little area that only a few spawn, like Rufflets, Swablus, Fleetles. Like I constantly get a Fleetle. So that's definitely not the case. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to actually be going for Crabominable. Now, as you can see, he is a fighting ice type. So that's going to be very important. That's going to be a fighting sandwich because his evolution is fighting. You're going to need to pay attention to that. The first, if they have a two stage typing, go ahead with that first one. That'll help you get it the easiest. Second is the area that it spawns. So Crabominable spawns in the snow. So we're going to have to make sure that we're in the right area. Now there is a really easy way to make sure you're in the right area. Go ahead. Just go to the Pokedex and then click on the Pokemon that you want. Go habitat. Make sure it lines up. So right here, the orange area is where it's gonna spawn. So that's the area. That is the snow area that we're looking for. Make sure that the Pokemon has an area on the map. Make sure it matches that it is able to be popped up as an outbreak from that list, which he is. So you just come to this area like I have. I have came to the area. As you can see, I'm in that section. I'm in the snow section where Crawler and Crabominable can spawn. So they can spawn here. Now, all I'm gonna be doing is making a fighting type sandwich and then just day skipping. So we're gonna go ahead and make our fighting type sandwich. So we do have the best possibility to get him to spawn in that outbreak. So now that we made our fighting type sandwich, which is encounter power fighting, title power fighting, sparkling powder fighting. This is the typical Herba Mystica sandwich, just pickle and then too salty. So that is the exact sandwich I used. Now all you do, is just start flipping your outbreaks. So you're day skipping, making sure your outbreaks reset, you're in the area that it can be, and that's it. You're just gonna sit here and flip outbreaks until it does spawn. So that's pretty much it. Just start flipping outbreaks. So there you have it. It only took like two day skips, and there's a Crabominable outbreak. A Hariyama outbreak? I mean, I haven't seen any Hariyamas outbreaks yet so that also being a rare one but crabominable you normally have to search around the ice or the snowy mountain to just find one and it's really hard let alone a whole outbreak designated to him so ice sandwich just day skip in the area that he's in and that's it like here's you're still getting your base normal ones but yeah a crabominable outbreak that's crazy. That means this method works. And honestly, it works really well. That was only two day skips in the area that he spawns. So let's go over there and just grab our Crabominable. And there you have it. It just spawns. So we were able to get a Crabominable outbreak to spawn, which is a rare spawn. And we're able to just shiny hunt it down so we can go ahead and do the knockout method and get a shiny Crabominable. Now there is also another fighting type which we will cover, and it's gonna be a Lucario, just in case you're not a fan of Crabominable like I am, who is a fighting ice. 
Lucario can be caught the exact same way. He is a fighting steel type. So we're going to go ahead and catch up Carbomitable and then head over to his location in the Pokedex and show you that you can actually just do this for any Pokemon and Lucario is not an exception to that rule. So if we do come to the Pokedex for Lucario, we can see that on pretty much the top right corner of the map, anywhere in there, he's going to spawn. So we did have a little bit of extra time on our fighting sandwich. The shiny hunt for the Crabominable did take longer than normal, but with this time, we can now day skip while over here and it'll start tricking to go ahead and get that Lucario to spawn for his outbreak. And just like that, there's a Lucario spawn. <laughs> that is a very rare, very rare outbreak. So that one actually took me quite a few tries. So I think I actually reset for about 10. Crabominable took two, only two, and I was in the area. But I think it's because his area was a lot smaller, but right outside the Pokey Center, there's Lucario. <laughs> there's a Lucario outbreak. And I did have to make a new sandwich because my time ran out, but with the new sandwich, I took about 10 to 15 retries. So that <laughs> there's a bunch of Lucario. It works. And man, does it work great. So just remember, for these rare outbreaks to spawn, there's going to be that list that we went over at the beginning, and it's going to be linked in the description so you can go pull up that list yourself. Make sure you are standing in the area where the Pokemon spawns. So in the Pokedex, you go to the habitat, make sure that Pokemon is able to be brought up in an outbreak, and then you just go stand in the area, pop a sandwich, and then start day skipping. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's that simple. We already got a Crabominable. Right now we're working on Lucario and we'll see if we can get it by the end of this video. And there you have it. A Lucario shiny from an outbreak. <laughs> like this method is going to be so good for final evolutions. The ones that you can't really hunt very well. So like they're really difficult to find. You should be able to be able to take on a lot of these harder shiny hunts way easier with this method but we will be ending it with a shiny lucario we got a shiny crabomitable and i mean pretty much we just did the same method with both make sure you're in the area pop a sandwich and make sure they're on the list and just keep day skipping that's it so if you did find this one helpful go ahead drop it a like subscribe so you don't miss any new videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one